Hey everyone, Kim Lange here, and today we're going to take you through about a 10-minute total body workup. This is something that you can do every single day this week if you choose, right? When you're short on time, it is the holiday season, and we're stressed to the max. We have so much to do, but you need to take care of yourself first. So I have a couple of sets of dumbbells. I have five pounds and eight pounds. Feel free to grab the weight that you desire, right? I would encourage two different sets, one lighter and one heavier, you can also use body weights, I, your own body weight. I will show you the modifications. We're gonna turn on some music, have about a one minute warm up, and then we're gonna get started. So grab your weights, grab a water bottle, grab a mat, and let's get going. Just start up jogging out, about a one minute warm up. Belly button in. Come on. Kick them up. Pull those arms back. Get the arms and the legs and the body awake. Blood flowing. Think good thoughts. Come on. Step reach. Up. over. We're getting ready to start. Ten minutes. Do you have it? Come on. Here we go. Jump rope. Now you can keep both feet down and just hop. We can kind of go side to side. But I want you to swing those arms. We have 30 seconds of work for each exercise. Breathe. Come on. Getting that blood temperature heated, getting our heart rate elevated. Come on. Okay. I'm going to take a quick rest. And we're going to grab some heavy weights. And I'm going to go to the right, lunge, row, step it in. Lunge, row, in. So you're really driving off that one leg, right? So that's my right leg, dropping down, lunging, holding, rowing, again. Come on. So we're working the back, working the legs, working the core. Actually, it's 40 seconds of work, not 30. I extended it. One more. Bring it in. Now this next one. I'm taking a lighter weight so I can hold my arms up tight just like that. And I'm gonna go front lunge, alternate. So this is really, really challenging on the core. You know, step forward, drive it down, and push up. Your arms start to get tired. Drop the weight down. Weight is always optional. But you don't want to compromise form. And then do one more. Bring it in. All right. Now I'm going to jump rope, but I'm going to do a butt kick. Come on. So the goal is 10 minutes. We want to see how sweaty we can get. Come on. 40 seconds right here. And again, if this is too high of a pace, then you do this. Right? Any of these moves can be done without weight. It can be modified to your level. Take them in. All right, all right. This next one, I'm going to my five pounds. I'm going to do a plie squat, and I'm going to press side to side. So, getting my legs, getting my core, press, press. So this will reach over the side, 
really gets the obliques. It's getting the legs because I'm holding that squat. And remember, weights are optional, yes? Press. Press. Exhale. Bring it in. Oh, this next one is going to be hard. I'll show you the modification. It's a lunge and you plyometric jump. Now, if you cannot do that, you're going to come together, drop down. Okay? Those that can do this jump, go ahead, join me. It's slow, it's deep, it elevates the heart rate. It gets the legs. It gets the glutes. Explode up. Explode up. Woo. All right. This next one, I'm going to go down on my back. I'm going to do an open fly. Okay. Like this. Now the key to this, keeping your lower back pressed up to the mat, so it's almost like you're doing a pelvic tilt, squeezing your butt cheeks, belly button to spine, letting your forearms drop to the ground. Up next, rest for five seconds. Three, two, one. Then bring it in. Next one, I'm moving the weights out of the way to show you this. You're going to go like this, lift the shoulders off the ground, and you're going to bike. So the goal is to rotate the shoulders, not hands behind your head, elbows to knee. Because you're going to lift up, engage that core, and you're going to go shoulder to shoulder, biking. All right? There we go. Now you can't do that. What are your options? Well, you can always do this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We have solutions for everything. We just don't, we just don't use the word I can't, right? We just solve the problem with what we can do. And bring it in. All right. I'm going to stand up. You're going to do a jump rope again. We're going to jump and jack the legs. Now, if you can't jump, this is you. Remember, this is your workout. When you only have 10 minutes, you want to bring in. Uh, bring your intensity, right? Come on. Suck that belly in. Keep breathing. Up next. Rest for five seconds. Three. Bring it in. One. Release out of the way. Now I'm going to go to my eight pounds. One. One. You guys may have to go lighter. On lateral races. Come on. Halfway there. 20 seconds left of this lateral race. You can do it. Step out, pull it up. Now when you're pulling with that back, you're 
you're not arching it. You're going to keep your belly button into spine. And you really want to focus on drawing the shoulder blades back, taking it down. You're pushing off that left leg down, pull. And bring it in. All right. Two more things. And we are done. We're going to have you come down. You're going to hug yourself. Okay? And you're going to do both legs lifting up. So this is for the obliques. Lift up. Lift up. Now you may not be able to do as many. And you may struggle. Give it a try. How many can you do? So I'm thinking about inner thighs together. You should feel it right here. Woo. All right. Other side. Other side. Side leg lift. This is it, guys. So you're going to hug yourself, right? You say, wow, good job. I did it. Life is crazy, but I took care of myself first. And it only took me 10 minutes. I can do that. Fitness doesn't have to be scary, right? We overthink. We think, oh my gosh, we have to have a gym membership. We have to have all this equipment. We have to do this and that. No, you don't. If you didn't have weights, you could have done the workout. That I did just now without weights. You could have grabbed water bottles, right? Absolutely. And bring it in. All right, come on up. I'm going to turn it down. So that was it, you guys. That is just a great way to get, you, get your body going and doing something during the holiday season. Um, stress will consume you. Stress will um, cause not negative effects on your body. If you are looking to maintain and not gain this holiday season, then stress is going to play a role. Sleep is going to play a role. Your food and what you eat are going to play a role. And by all means, I'm not saying don't enjoy the holidays and don't enjoy the, don't enjoy the food. But don't save yourself for that special meal. Continue to eat throughout the day. Eat healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Make sure they're real foods. If it comes from a box or a, box or a package or your grandmother wouldn't recognize it, don't buy it, right? Um, start reading ingredient labels and just fuel your body the great way with you know, nutritious food, and the, the best thing that you can do is pay yourself first, okay? You know, we teach our kids that with money, right? So pay yourself first before you go buy anything. You need to do that with your health, too. Pay yourself first. Do this little 10-minute workout if that's all the time that you have. If you have more time, then feel free to do another workout, right? A longer workout. But at least, at least do this. Leading up to the holidays, relieve that stress, right? When everybody's getting to you, and just make it a great day.